De Chinjoma, a 65-year-old villager in Kasung community, was once a serf in old Tibet. Born in the cowshed, she had a miserable childhood without hope. However, everything changed when Kasung became the first village in Tibet to carry out democratic reform under the leadership of the Communist Party of China in 1959. Chuma's family moved out of the cowshed, and for the first time, they owned land, livestock, and houses. Since then, Chuma has embraced her hopeful new life. More than 60 years have passed. In Kasun today, every household has agricultural machinery, while the per capita net income has increased by more than 100 times. In 2020, the Tibet GDP surpassed 190 billion yuan, around 29.2 billion US dollars. And the per capita disposal income for rural residents grew 12.7% to 14,598 yuan, maintaining double digit growth for the 18th consecutive year and the fastest growth rate in the country for the sixth consecutive year.